Oh. So today, we're planning on working on either the truck or the Tahoe. I'm not really for sure which one. George is under a shelter in place act as of six o'clock tonight. We thought it was six o'clock yesterday and today was when it was gonna be enacted. But apparently, I don't know, somewhere misconstrued everything. So what we're planning on doing is we're gonna be doing the, the rear bumper lights on either the truck or the Tahoe. Um, they'll look just like mine. Only, well, they'll look a little better than mine. But uh, what my brother's done, and you'll see, he's actually colored the inside top layer of the chrome there to match either the Tahoe or the truck. So one's got purple, one's got red. So let's get into this thing. Trey said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one last no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. Technically. You take those apart. We can use that housing on. We can use the okay. housing off of that one to make all our marks. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then. You touch up that white. Show them what you got, man. Show them what you're working with. Well, we need some light. Or can you show see them, it in the yeah. dark? Let's show them in the sunlight. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So we got the so white, the white and purple, purple to go on the Silverado. And then the black and red. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To go on the Tahoe. That is correct. That is correct, my friend. So. so this is going to be a tutorial for you guys who don't know how to put bumper lights in, what it really takes. If you which don't know how I don't even think up. that we uh, have all the right equipment to do this with, but we're going to do it anyway and make it work. Well, the first time we've done it without the right equipment. That's right. And the standard. On these. Where are you thinking on here? I'm thinking like right here. Well, you gotta find out where your bumper bracket's at first. Yeah, your bumper bracket should be over here. Which it is. I feel it coming in right there. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so yeah, if we stay right here and come in right there, then we should be golden. I need a line. I need a line right here. And our bracket comes over here, so we we're good to put it right in this area right there. I just need a put you guys down for a minute. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got it all taped off, as you guys have watched and seen. We've got our, our mark out to where our, our light can actually go all the way through. But I wanna take my tape measure and see what it measures out on the back of mine to see where it's at. What I just did is I just took my tape measure, which I got a double sided tape. I set it on here and I went from there and I kind of pressed it down. And it's looking like it's nine and a quarter 
to the edge of my internal light. So let's take it over here. Let's see. What do we have from the edge? Oh, wait. So this one I've got way over, which I don't. It may hit in there. So let's just take it and we'll mount, we'll mount it exactly where I've got the other one on my truck. All right, so that's what we've got. We've got our hole to cut out. We'll cut out the inside of the mark all the way around. We'll drill out the four holes. We'll take our light, run it through like this with our wires coming up. And way we can tie them in and we'll run them all the way to the switch or either we'll run them all the way to the switch or we'll wire them to the reverse lights. We haven't really decided yet which one we want to do. But yeah, that's what we've got going on. All right, so we're gonna try. We're not positive if this is gonna work or not. Safety first, we don't want the plug to pull out. If you're in construction, you know how to do this. Uh. All right, so we're gonna try this grinder wheel, which I'm not sure. It's not a cutting wheel, it's a grinder wheel. We're gonna try and cut it some spider on there with this and uh, hopefully get through it enough that we can fit a sawzall blade in there and cut our lines each way. So it'll be four cuts with the grinder and then the rest of the cuts done with a sawzall blade. That's what we're hoping, that's what we're gonna shoot for. So let's see if it works. It's not cutting, man. I mean, it, it's putting a hole, but it's not actually cutting the hole like it needs to. Oh, that's so much deep that it ain't right. Mm -mm. All right, well, this isn't working. As you can see, it's grinding, but it's not actually cutting through that metal like we want it to. Um, so I think, I'm hoping I'm hoping AutoZone is still open with the whole uh, shelter in place thing in effect. It's not going into effect until six tonight, but some some stores are already shutting down. <laughs> so I'm hoping that AutoZone is still open and that way we can go up there and grab a cutting wheel real quick and just come through and zip, 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 be done. Uh, we got our saws all out and all that stuff. Is that the only sawzall you got, bro? You don't have a, a plug-in? No, okay, well, you may have to work with that too. So, all right, well, here we go. You're a bit of it. Yeah, all of it. All of it? Yeah, all the AC on. Oh, AC on high. Yeah, we're going out full blast. Full blast. <laughs> AC on full blast. All right. Click it or tick it. Yeah. All right, so we're headed to AutoZone or Advanced, whichever is open. Whatever, whatever one. Hopefully it's one of them. 
we'll get us a new cutting blade. All right, so if you guys have been watching on Instagram, I posted a picture of my truck with a cat face building behind it. And I'm gonna be doing a shout out at the end of this video. So y'all stay tuned. Work in finance. God bless, no, it's not by chance. Don't doubt me, you're not. Alright, so we got our ceramic thin cut blades. Now we're running over to Advance real quick to see if they've got the paint match color for the Silverado so we can paint it to match the, the bumper and everything like that. So. Alright, so we've made it back. I'm trying to swap this. Uh, Swap these blades out. Let's see what we can't get done with cutting now. Alright, so we got our blade changed out. Thin cut. Let's see how this does. I got work in finance. God bless, no, it's not by chance. Don't dab me, you're not my man. Don't at me, you're not my man. Mama said, don't buy it if you cannot buy it twice. I got by the tools and I don't pump fake with the price. Always on the ground, I put in work with all my might. I know that he got me, got me, got me. It's not exactly where we want it. We kind of want to move it over that way a little bit. So I'm going to grind a little bit off right here. I believe this is ribbed a little bit. I need to take a little bit off the bottom here and a little bit off the top edge here. Uh, I need to be able to roll it. That's why I said. So yeah. I need to take off from the bottom here and the bottom here. And that way I can roll it down like that. That's perfect. Alright, are we needing a, a punch or a nail set? Yep, we'll need a Either one or the other. <clears throat> All right. Very careful. Do not hurt yourself. Oh my gosh! What kind of? Don't be. That's so big. I don't know if you I can need, handle you that. You need me help you swing it? Mm. <laughs> you made that dirty. <laughs> <laughs> swing it. Need a drill and drill bit? I'm getting there. Shut up. All right, so the purpose for doing the little nail set on there or center punch or any of that is basically what you're wanting to do is dent the metal. That way when you put your drill bit in there and you drill through, you don't have it sliding all over the place because it doesn't have a, a pilot. So we're gonna do a small drill bit first and then work our way up to the right side. Or, and hear me out, I have a step bit. You have a step bit? If you got a step bit, man, I'd much rather use that. I do, I do, I do. I 
Let's try to use a step bit. Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right, so a step bit, guys. Basically, as you drill, you go size, size, bigger, every single, every single section. Every step. Every step. Man, why would your drill not go out any further? I need oil. I got another one. I got better one. It's fine. Yeah. I, got, I got this one to work. Where's our uh, Where's our screws so I can see how what step I need to go? Right now, I don't got this one on there. It's fine. Well, here's back up with another battery. Where's our uh, screws at? Let's see what size we need to get to. Well. Judging by this bit that I have here, it's probably the second. Looks like it's a uh, three sixteenths, maybe a quarter. Yep, so the second one. North to the border, safe filling up. I'm my favorite type of order. I got kids to feed, I got enemies, I got guys give, so they envy me. Got some friends out of Memphis, like I'm Aubrey. Got some friends fall for orange, like some autumn leaves. That's it. It's got the red. It's mounted in. It's nice and tight. So I did overcut just a hair, and you can see it right there. But I don't think you're ever gonna need. It. No one's ever gonna notice that. Um. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Turned out pretty good. On that note, we're gonna get the other ones knocked out, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the back of his truck too. I will show you just a brief section of where we're going to position them on his truck, but I'm not going to go through the details of cutting and everything like that. This video is already way too long, and uh, now you guys know how to mount them, you know how to place them, and we'll go from there. So I'll show you the final product in three, two, one. I ain't trying to bother. Watch it fall down, down, down. You give me the green light, speeding like there ain't no stop sign. My eyes set on the prize, yeah. Right, guys so i hope you enjoyed yes i got a little change going on here it's three days after i recorded this video 
dog passed away. Um, a couple other things happened. So, a few changes going on right now. We're in the process. Of, yeah, I got crap everywhere. I got to clean this house up. So right now we're in the process of doing that. But like I said, I wanted to give you guys the uh, best comment. Let's see to my Instagram post. Uh, the best caption and, and I think they're all good but I think one of my favorite ones is that kid from Georgia and I'll put his Instagram right here as I read his his uh, what did I say his caption to my picture so this is the picture and his caption is when that Rona lurking in the back but you still got to show out for them. I really like that one. I thought that one was pretty cool. Um, there, we've got several more. Project Blue Thunder, he commented uh, a caption. Rono SF commented a caption. That Blue Bowtie commented a caption. Um, and Blue Flame underscore Denali 05 commented a caption. So I appreciate you guys commenting captions and all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure that that kid from Georgia, I think he did the best one. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching this. I'm sorry that, you know, I posted on Instagram, said I had a video and all that stuff. But it's here now. So with that being said, peace. Catch y'all on the next one.